Welcome back, gamers, to Dragon Rompers. What does that symbol mean? Thanks for the CD-ROM? What? In the chat, someone said, thanks for the... And then there was an emoticon or emoji, and it said, thanks for the I have the no thing, idea what you're talking Mater. about. You interrupted my bit that I was going to do. I had an intro bit prepared. Okay, let's pretend like um, okay. you've just made the Hold mics. On. Okay, yeah. Hold on. Welcome back, gamers. We're back. To Dragon Romper, the only game where you put rompers on dragons and make sure they look cute for the summer. Wow. Best game of 2020. Don't lie to the people with this game. <laughs> this is it's a game. It's going to be very abrupt. The only mature themes in this game are how sexy those dragons look in, in those rompers you put them in. And it's just a real cute and good time. How's everybody doing tonight? You come here often? <laughs> as often as we stream, I suppose. I like to imagine that our stream is like a bar that we walk into and everyone is, is there hanging out. That's kind of what it feels like since everyone's always chatting when we come in. Why would we walk into our own bar when people are there? Who's working there? Who's working at the bar? It's sort of just like a fantastical imagining that I have, so it doesn't really require. It's very nice for everyone to not steal the drinks while we aren't behind the bar. I appreciate it. We don't run the bar. We're the entertainment at the bar. Oh, okay. The Who runs the bar? Twitch is the Twitch? bar. Twitch wow. is the bar. Jeff Bezos is your bartender. Jeff Bezos is your <laughs> bar. Jeff Bezos isn't going to do any work. Are you kidding me? He doesn't work. He just That's harvests very silly. cash. He puts it directly into his he pocket. He just absorbs cash like a big black hole. Uh, I want to talk about some subs we got in great detail. Here we go. Yeah. We got subs from Peckish Cowboy, Tiny Dragon Dog, Brighter Than Stardust, Garai, Barry Babombus, Captain Mustachio, Onsta Monsta, Dr. Brewski Mukbang Daddy. Wow. <laughs> That's a good one. Creative Boy 19 gave out a gift sub, the Stone Vehicle subscribe, not this mammal subscribe. Dr. Brewski Mukbang Daddy gift to the sub. McQuay96, Kyle Draws, Candria Celine, Zalexander23, Claire4811, Bottom Hat, Funky Little Death Omen, Moon Griffin, Cepheus, Slap the Bacon, Sleepy Slee Slug, Just Another Shitty Face, Nugget Baber Loves Unions, Negapole, Uncle Iroh, Every Time, Every Time I Say Uncle Iroh. Yep. I'm just gonna go with it. Uncle Iroh's Arms. Harshmellow99, Tom VT, Mix Jeweler, Wooden Dream 5, Corvidea, It's Spooky Kabuki, Resident Goblin, The Darcyist, Ski Priest's Pieces, BT Dimensions, Nate No Last Game Given gave out five subs. George Rohawk gave out five subs. Thank you so much, George. Thank you, George. George, my sweet friend. Pantali Caro subscribed. Mix Jeweler gifted two subs. Pantrill Samurai subscribed. I want to believe. Gifted a sub. George gifted another sub. Well, Electric Arcana gifted 25 subs. My goodness. What is going on? What's happening today? My goodness. Things are going ballistic. Ghoul pool. Ghoul pool. Thank you for subscribing. Julia, you can't yawn already. It's too soon. I told you I was tired. Do you need to I'm do sorry. a scream? No. Do you need to do a scream to help you? No. There was a name that I wanted to talk about, and of course, now I can't remember what it was, and I'm sure it's going to be worth going back to find it. It's not going to be. You know it's not going to be. It's not going to be. This is already wasted time. We could be reading the sub we just got. We got to live in the present. We can't look back in the past. The past is asked. The past is asked. And the You're present right. is a gift. Thank we you, K-Boss, for the five subs. BT Dimensions for the ten subs. Raw Gamer for subscribing. Apathy and Agony. Kui Loren. That one gay chemist. Unicorn and Melon Rust. Summer League. Basilisk King of Servants. Thank you all very much. We are back with Danganronpa. As the mods, I'm sure, have been saying in the chat aplenty, and as this content warning at the top of the screen suggests. The scare. 
thick so. This game's got mature themes and sensitive material, and I've been told that especially in this upcoming chapter, there's some stuff that is uh, a little dated, perhaps, some yep. maybe a little transphobic. We certainly do not endorse it. We do not agree with it. We don't endorse it. it. This game came out a while ago, and I've heard they've done better with this since then in these games. But, you know, product of its time. We don't endorse it. It's wasn't stupid. good then, isn't good now, but... And when it happens, we'll, we'll be sure to say to you, uh, this is bad. Yeah. But I also think something can be bad, and I can still enjoy it. And that is what I intend to do today. Yeah. Um, I, just, I bet if Jeff Bezos were a bartender, he'd be one of those ones that has like the underage kids come in and he only does shots. And then when the police come to raid, he's like, well, it's the kids' fault. That was a really specific and strange scenario. Someone was talking about it in the chat about the kind of drinks that Jeff Bezos would make. And I, I can't see him making drinks. I just see him giving out shots. Jeff Bezos giving out shots. I thought you were going to do like a blue collar comedy tour bit where you're like, if Jeff Bezos was a bartender, <laughs> I think it might go a little something like this. If Jeff Bezos were a southerner, is that what he does? Thumbs no, it's, you're thinking you might be a redneck. Uh, I was going with the you might be a redneck if, but with kind of an if Jeff Bezos were a bartender. We can dream. You want to play the game? Yeah. Do you want to play the video game? Yeah. I'd like to play the video game. Yeah, I want to play the video game. I have to switch to gameplay mode. And switch to gameplay game. mode. That's going to be crucial for the this, gaming. This is the final warning. I mean, I'm probably going to do it several times as we go, but uh, mature themes. There's going to be stuff we don't agree with. We're just going to move on. And we're going to say, hey, this is bad. And we're going to move on. It's fine to... Uh engage with problematic media and still enjoy the media despite its issues. All media has problems, All this media, media included. Problems. And we've warned you, so it's it's over. It's over now. Now we're going to enjoy it. We're going to go back to enjoying the teens getting murdered? We're going to go back to enjoying the teens getting murdered. It's just for fun. They're just drawings of teens. <laughs> They're not real teens. When they go to the side view, they are a flat their cardboard, cardboard cutouts. cutouts of teens it's fine uh anyways that was the true face of despair in case <laughs> <laughs> uh to give you a quick update uh to give you a quick update as to what happened last time um leon was the murderer the baseball boy and we did the whole cool trial we shot truth bullets right yeah we solved all the the lies and leon was the murderer and then as punishment Leon got tied to a pole and then had a bunch of baseballs shot at him until he was dead. <laughs> which was, that was very, very funny. Which was very funny, and I liked it a lot. That was very funny. I'm sorry. Um, I it's also because like I didn't really care about him. I do want to turn the volume down just a bit. Okay. A little loud in my ears. It is a little loud in my ears. might be a little loud in you, the audience's ears, as well. And uh, so this is kind of the aftermath of that. We're about to head into chapter two. Yeah. Uh, that was the true face of despair. I mean, if we can't call it that, what else could we call it? The fake face of despair? Doesn't make sense. Extreme! <laughs> Woohoo! Extreme. Extreme! I don't remember Monokuma's voice. Was it something like this? Man, my adrenaline is pumping right out of control! Extreme. <laughs> What's going on? I can't take it. Oh, well, all right. Kind of read the line. Kind of read the line. Do we really have to keep going? Keep doing? Keep going? Doing this <laughs> thing, y'all? Y'all? <laughs> Do we really have to keep going doing this thing? <laughs> I just can't take it. Well. Well, hey, well, all you gotta do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. But that's only if every single one of you can get on board with that. <laughs> 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 
There we go. I needed a waha and a boaha. I knew the second you didn't click when I was done that you were waiting for me to do the boaha. Man, fuck you. Why the fuck are you doing all this evil shit to us? The He's the edgy heck? team because he curses. Evil? You make it sound like I'm some dark, awful, secret society type of guy. Say what? I feel like I made Monokuma a little nerdier. Or in this case, a dark, awful, secret society type of bear. I think you're doing a great job. Thank you. Well, I might turn your mic down a touch though. That's a good idea. Um, so why are you putting an upstanding young citizen like me through such a grueling ordeal? Hey, um... It seems like you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. Got him. That's like trying to put a mile on a scale. I just don't think it's possible. Really makes you think, though, honestly. Smile on a scale. Um, For some reason, I thought he w meant to write, say smile, as if that made any more sense. <laughs> that kind of sounds romantic. Smile on a Putting scale. Putting a smile on a scale. It'll outweigh all the sadness in your <laughs> life. Put a smile on a scale. <laughs> hey, uh, I don't think what you're saying and what I'm saying quite fit together. <sighs> shit. You piece of shit. I don't know who you are, but I'm going to pound your ass into the ground. You must really hate me to get so angry, huh? But if you do that, you're barking way up the wrong tree. I do just want to say, just because I'm seeing it in the chat a little bit, uh, the mods are uh, in the right of it. Um, they are going to warn people about stuff that's going to come up that might yes. upset them, even if like you personally think it's like silly or don't get upset by it. Yeah. Most of the stuff doesn't upset me at all, but different yeah. people have different sort of yeah. levels and boundaries so just try to respect that if you if you can and the mods are doing a good job by pointing that out for people just in case it's something that might upset them thank you mods thank you mods <laughs> what happened happened because more than one of you decided you wanted to get out right no matter how much time passes you can't cut free of your regrets from the outside world you're to blame <laughs> Of course we can't cut free of the outside world. Being trapped in this insane place. Mm -hmm. You're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure once you learn all the mysteries of the school, your thinking will change for sure. You'll think, boy, isn't it so wonderful how we all get to live here forever? What does this mean? What are you trying to say? Hey. I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there. I tripped up. I read the words right, and my brain was like, no, you fucked it up. <laughs> you kind of just sounded like a little stoned. Hey, I feel like there's, there's some deeper, deeper meaning, meaning hidden in there. Just like before. Girls, girls, girls. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the blackened punishment. That's what everyone is waiting for, after all. Hey. Can you say everyone? Who exactly are you referring to? Oh, he's referring to us in the Twitch chat. <laughs> Sorry, I said everything that I've got to say. Now I need to save some of the fun for later. <laughs> and just like that, he was gone. He left us there, overwhelmed by a nightmare turned reality. Kyoko's voice is just me at this point. Yeah. Even after he was gone, we stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, no, it wasn't that long, I think. I lied to you about how long it was. <laughs> Everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. Oh, I thought he was going to say more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has milk coming from his eyes. That's painful. <laughs> I spilled milk in my eyes again. <laughs> I'm so clumsy. Yeah. <laughs> No one even tried to speak. They kind of sounds like they did kind of try. They're all going like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> give me the attempt. Their faces were stoned. Their voices dead. Their faces were stoned. <laughs> Their faces were stoned. Their but voice was, was stoned. But it was in that moment. Just a second. Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? She moved in close and whispered into my ear. Makoto. Only Nathan fucks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Makoto. 
Emily Nathan Fox. <laughs> I just saw it in chat, so I had to say it. <laughs> Before we head back, there's something I want to talk to you about. Only Nathan Fox. <laughs> it's about Sayaka, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. Listen. I told you before the class trial started. You had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me by myself, didn't you? No, I just didn't want to have to do the rest of the work. The thought never myself. even crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool, becoming such an easy target like that. I mean, I'm the it's only true. detective with a with a single brain cell in this game. Sayaka meant to double cross you. That's a fact that you can never change. So get over it. <laughs> but even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why she lay dying. She was thinking of you. What? She was thinking of me? You can't just say something like that. I'm psychic. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's no way you can know that. I'm psychic. Only Sayaka would know for sure. And we can't ask her now. However, even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. What? So, the fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. Or she just wanted revenge. Yeah. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Well, maybe she just wanted to get back at the person who had killed her. Makoto. If someone killed me and I had like a couple of seconds left, I'd be like, get this fucker, Leon. He did it, bruh. Yeah. You wouldn't be like, Jacob. Leon, <laughs> Jacob, help! I got murdered. Sorry. Goodbye. You'd be like, <laughs> no, I'm taking this motherfucker down with me. Yeah. Certainly. That's certainly one possibility. I don't think that's what it was. Anyway. She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone. Or deceive you. Sayaka kind of sucks. Which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Damn. Shit. That's hesitation life attracts it. failure. Life lessons. Hard truths. Don't hesitate. Move forward with gusto. From Kyoko. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. It's like rain on your wedding day. <laughs> why are you telling me all this? Because... You're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the deaths of your friends, Sayaka and Leon. Keep moving forward. You really don't right. give a shit about anyone, Makoto. <laughs> Without someone like that, the others would never be able to break free of such a desperate situation. Move past their deaths? That's sick. I could <laughs> never do that. No. I'm going to carry them with me the rest of my life. Okay. How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon, Sayaka, I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go! Like, Kyoko's like, just fucking follow me on this, all right? Come on, you're letting me down. So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> Text with the rabbit said, and Junko. Junko is also dead. <laughs> <laughs> we totally forgot about Junko. Uh, whoops. <laughs> well, I have high expectations for you. As she said that, she revealed the smallest smile. Hey. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well, I'm psychic. <laughs> you what? motherfucker. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have pretty good intuition. Chapter one, to survive the end. Wow, we finished the game. All right, three students are down. 12 students to go. To be continued right now on the secret stream sleepover society. Ugh. I always think that's his anthem. I received the despair bat present. Wow, that's um cruel, really, considering that guy died by baseballs. It's probably his bat. So we just stole his stuff? Wow, why are we back in this room? Oh. It's okay. What's over here? Oh. It's a wake on into us. From the early 2000s. Like, uh, seems like Makoto doesn't want to talk to me about any of this stuff right now. Is he still in uh, Sayaka's room? I guess he has to be, huh? It's gone. Or Sayaka? She, 
she really is gone. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Oh, I guess he's back in his room. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh-huh. Well, look at my ass. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. There's what three of them. You do? remember Junko, please? <laughs> it's okay. No need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted, smiling faces is thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. <laughs> Monokuma's got like a whole stable of laughs yeah. that he can pull out. I didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka and Junko's deaths. He did remember. <laughs> nice. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me! You sure took your sweet time! I was just about to go get you and drag you back here! S sorry. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up like you said? <laughs> I imagine it'd be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom! Hey, come on! Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay inside, Kutcher? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging oh in the my air. God. You All gotta right, start animal. stop talking about her smell. Good that would Lord. hurt just as much. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Makoto. That's I... weird. Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't going to help anything, all right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. Thanks, Owie. I thought getting depressed was going to help things. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Just cheer up. That's the best, <laughs> it's the best advice to give someone Just who's depressed. Up. You feeling depressed after a, after the death of a loved one? Just just cheer up and get back on track, So dude. everyone just try and cheer up and get back on track. Just stop being depressed. Just cheer up. Hmm. Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? Huh? We were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. I just keep thinking about his actual voice actor. <laughs> it's a question of when, not if. <laughs> yeah, because S Sayaka made the first move. Well... But if we work together against the mastermind, no one will have any reason to do something like that. Stop talking. Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. Idiot. <laughs> Working together, fighting a common enemy. Like it or not, it's not that simple. Um, what do you mean? Are you okay with this? The mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever expected. It took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, and modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a risk. So then... Then, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. N no. Yugi boy. <laughs> <laughs> no. What? No what? Uh, sir, I can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to live... If it means killing someone else to do it, I don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. But... But... So, um... If we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? 
That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it's... She's right. If you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Chihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we'd refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. Ding dong, bing bong! Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It oh, is wasn't now that far off. 10 p.m. No, I was telling you, you did good. As such, it is officially nighttime. I love that we have DDBB in the chat. <laughs> Soon Wonderful. the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, and one other thing. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. <laughs> Cerulean Char said, don't be depressed, you're so sexy, haha. <laughs> <laughs> see you, see That's you, one of my favorite see memes. You, see you? how much I can see you even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. Nice. So be well aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. <clears throat> Good night. Sleep tight. Do oh. I accidentally cut him. Whoa. <laughs> Do I have to remake that noise? Uh, excuse the cow going by in the background. It's like the screaming skull bear from Annihilation. <laughs> yeah, that's true. What was th that just now? Was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. Don't fuck with me. That piece of shit. Who does he think he is? And so, the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates, Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. <clears throat> but this is just the beginning. Our despair has only be just, be just begun. <laughs> okay, so the only two characters I still only care about, Sakura and Kyoko. Kyoko's my girl. Yeah. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. What's he going to do to us this time? He made us do cardio. I hate cardio. <laughs> we Despair were practically frozen with spear. With spear? <laughs> <laughs> no, that happened to Junko. <laughs> but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. That's an interesting phrasing. The race. He began it. Okay, lift your arms Oh my god, arms that was great. Taka's just down. immediately doing it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to also, those Also, you know you care about Mondo. Don't leave Mondo out of this. Damn it, you're right. I do care He's about got Mondo. corn hair and he screams fuck you all the time. Yeah, I do care about Mondo. I want to bring right. that energy into my life. It's the only ones I care about. Also, Owie. Owie is cool. Owie. <laughs> ah, doesn't this just feel great? Doesn't this feel just great? I got him. Whatever. Being stuck inside like this. You. I gave him a. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> great start. <laughs> Ah, doesn't this feel just great being stuck inside like this? You gotta make sure to stay healthy. You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> Don't... <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Wow, I sounded pretty cool just now. Don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? So? So? Why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't to make us exercise. 
Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? Hey! If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. Passed down from generation to generation in the empire of darkness, the power can be yours. Hmm? That sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Oh, that's me. What? They did the wrong color, I think. Or no, it's just because he's speaking out loud. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands. Okay, so then... Hmm. Uh, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. A whole new world! <laughs> What the heck? A whole new world. You a guys? new fantastical point of view. I'd r it really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know you kids these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. Very so nice. go ahead, look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he'd shown up. Don't you dare close your eyes. <laughs> but a new world? A whole new world? Could it be? Is he... Talking is about, he talking about a way to get outside? A way to get outside. <laughs> I wonder about that. That seems unlikely. Piece of shit! <laughs> well, we don't know till we look. Hey. Whatever he meant. Whatever he no. meant. No. <clears throat> yeah, I know. No. Whatever he meant. It seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. You're basically a one-trick pony, you know that? Got it. More like a staple food source. Now let's get moving. <laughs> Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Somebody's gotta clean up all these balls. Monokuma? There's not even any hoops or a net for these volleyballs and basketballs. You get them stuck in the tree, that's a game. The tree is fake. The whole game is fake, Jacob. Oh, it's a video game. Oh, oh. Time to look around. Time to scope the sitch. What's up, brah? What the heck? Hey, Makoto, do you see what's outside the display case? Bad, this is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all of that weird in there. Hmm. Sure, to the untrained eye, it's nothing. But this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. For serious? That stuff you see lined up there? Any god could come by and use it to send a message. Huh? Ah, uh, I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin, and I spilled milk in my eyes. <laughs> Let me out of here! Let me out! I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. He's having a breakdown. Who can blame him? Did you search the case? There are bear coins everywhere, dog. I've already looked at all these things. Like what a if there's new? Times. Because it's a new chapter. I don't, I don't wanna. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I don't wanna. I wanna play the story. With the gotcha pump. I've got a million bear coins right now. You have barely any. <laughs> Makoto, look! The gate blocking the stairs is gone. It would seem a path to the second floor has opened up. Great you hear me? Skills. But it's also of utmost importance to double check the areas we already know about, just in case. Without a doubt. Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impress myself sometimes. Our neighbors you must understand? hate Ishimaru. Well, I'll leave the school to you. <laughs> No one can hear us scream. We're in space. The gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Is this what Monokuma meant by a whole new world? If so, what's up there? 
There's more pissers up here. <laughs> this is the second floor of the school. Finally. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. I can piss in a public pisser. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's got to be something here. Whoa! Pool. Oh, I thought it said fool, and I was really excited about the fool anchor door. Let's go to the pool. Time to take a swam. That's a, gun. that's a gun. Just a second. Oh, Makoto. Hey, guess what? You're on the second floor. Guess what I found? A pool. There's a pool here. A pool. Pool, pool, pool. You don't have to keep repeating it. I got it. Okay. okay. All right. That, that's a waste. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura is going to go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. What's up, Celeste? <laughs> the second floor has opened up. The living area has grown, and the number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit, things have been much have been made much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. The locker room's connected to the to a pool. It looks super big. Look. <sighs> it looks super nice and big and fantastic to swim in. Ah, I'm beyond excited right now. I can't wait to dive in. Who's that? In fact, I'm getting kind of mad thinking about it. Why are you getting mad? I get that. I get yeah. mad too when I get too excited about something. Yeah, really. Hey, Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um, no. I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you do seem like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. I don't like wearing swimsuits but... either. But still, it sounds like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd like to get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But uh, I'm not even brave enough to step into the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go in the locker room? Um... Jerk. It's not that I don't want to. It's just... I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia, though. Yeah, pretty weird. Anyway. Yo, I hated changing for gym. It's very weird. It is weird. I didn't like it either. There, there's a bunch of different pool-related items on the shelf. And nice. a bear coin. Wow, you have 83 bear coins. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to go back to the dang bear store in forever. Wow, what's up with that spool of corn on the cobs? That's for when you need the after-swim corn. It looks like one of those lifesaver flotation donuts. And nice. a bear coin. A TV on the wall? How is it possible? Let's probably look at this Gatling gun, huh? Is that a real gun? Try it. It's not like we're at war here. Why would we need something like that here? It's filled with baseballs. That one doesn't have a thing. Did you check the, the boogie boards? I did. Behind this door is the locker room? What? This is the girls' locker room. This is fine. A true gentleman will respect our space, yes? Of course, dude. I have no desire to disrespect your space. I only have desire to click everything that is clickable. There's a Nintendo DS on the wall. Is this some kind of card reader? I wonder what it's for. Fine game. Behind this door is the locker room? But where are Sayaka? Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker room. Really? Oh. Of course. Really, really. Oh. Woo. Hmm. If you want to unlocker the locker room, you'll have to swipe your personal ebook across the card reader next to the door. Uh huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room. And the same goes for the girls. 
And that's the bottom line. I bet that's gonna come into play later. That God. information. Yeah. Right. Olive's here. Olive's leaving. Hi, Olive. This is my water bottle, sweetie. Mm -hmm. But what if someone opens a door and then someone else sneaks in? <gasps> Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. See? There's a Gatling gun mounted to the ceiling, right? Sure is. And it'll all... Duka, 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 duka. Just a second. I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. <laughs> I don't think it would hurt because you'd be immediately dead. Yeah, really. Um, um, no, I think it would be a little worse than that. Hmm. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? Surely this will not come into play later in the trial. <gasps> well, that never even occurred to me. To think someone would be, be so low, so cowardly, and so devilish. Hmm? Hmm. Okay, then how's that sound? I got it! Time for a new rule. As of this moment, Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. <laughs> there. So now no one can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% cotton. Honestly. Do not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. Is that okay? After all... They would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. So, um... But, you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! It's cause all you teenagers are sex-crazed maniacs! You're at that age, you'd try humping a plastic bottle. Well, what with all your ADD and ADHD and... DDR? I'm being programmed by a 90 year old man! <laughs> and all your phones and your Twitters and Instagrams. And your Tic Tacs. And your Tic Tacs. And all of your Fortnite dances. With your flossing, the only flossing I had was the kind you did for your teeth. <laughs> so, to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch. Then, in that case, I would ask you keep the same eyes, the, the same close eye on our dorms. If some man or some woman decided to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. Yes, yes. I don't care what happens in your private dorms, by force or by cutting. Do whatever you want. Just the worst. I hate you so much. See Owie's later. speaking everyone's yeah. truth. Yeah, <laughs> Owie is the chat. Okay, so the new regulation is now in place. See ya. Oh my god, hi. Oh, man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. You got it. Celeste, Chihira, you want to come with me? As for me... There is nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Huh. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'll pass this time. How come? <clears throat> How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. Olive is doing big pet me rolls behind your monitor, and it's super cute. Olive, I can't pet you. You're too far away. Look at her. Let's get Olive Cam. Let's get oh, Olive Cam real quick. That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. When I stop petting her, she just stares at my hand. She's like, what the heck? Where'd the pets go? She's like, what? Bring back the pets. She had to have her belly shaved so she could get like special sonograms and stuff.
good cat. A plus cat. All right, I think I've done everything there is to do in here. Unless I need to talk to everyone again, I don't think I do. No, it was the same. It was the same. It was the same. It was the same. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Goodbye, I gotta go. Anyway, our cat rules. Anyway, our cat rules. Goodbye. This is the girl's bathroom. If I ever took one step in there, I'd become a total creep in everyone's eyes, and that'd be it for me. Yeah, you should be worried about how it would affect you. Yeah, really. I can go in here, though. Oh, we got urinals. Wow. What all can I... Wow, I can't record anything. Can I shit, finally? What? Oh, my goodness. This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. I don't see anything useful in here. Do you not want to pee do pee pees? Do you oh not want to do goodness. pee pees, Makoto? He's been pee peeing his pants this whole time. You better do pee pees now, or else I don't know if we're gonna have a chance later. We better not get halfway through this journey and then say you got pee. The baby is sleeping. Please be quiet. Oh, it's Sakura. Hey, Sakura. Is there anything else to click in here? Just the normal stuff. Clock though. Can't stop looking at the clock. Because nice. it's got a bear coin on it. And I knew that. I knew that's what would happen. Girl? What's happening with you? <laughs> Olive wants to be a part of things. Look at little face. You have a visitor. I think she wants to come I over. No, she wants to be on your your lap. She doesn't really want to be on any lap or anywhere in particular. She's just going around. She's just going all around the bend. Yeah, okay, goodbye. Oh my god. This is what... This is... This... <laughs> we got two words in. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get the second word. <laughs> oh! This must be what he meant by a new world. Oh! Stop scratching! She's a criminal. I should probably take a really close look around. Is that all you have to say? I see. I see. I see. All right, I made her voice gruffer, right? Yeah, she's gruff and tough. All right. Motorcycle chick. She's not a motorcycle chick. She's a motorcycle chick. She's not a motorcycle chick. She is now. She's not a motorcycle chick. Stop saying that. What are, motorcycle what are these chairs for? What are these chairs for? Chairs, chairs, chairs. Not for sitting, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it fits their, their 2D bodies. Oh, that's true. That makes sense. What is this? The library. The only people we'll find in there are nerds. Wow, look at all these nerds in here. Look at all these. No, Kyoko, come on. Kyoko's a nerd, too. That's fair. There's one, one in every four nerds is good. <laughs> <laughs> Look to your left. <laughs> Look to your right. One of these nerds is good. <laughs> and if you don't see a good nerd, then it might be you. <laughs> oh, God. That's the most ridiculous <laughs> stance I've ever taken. This is a very Jacob statement. <laughs> it really was. One in four nerds is good. <laughs> Olive. She stopped scratching the carpet and pretended to be licking her paw. It's remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. Okay. Hey. I'm absolutely shocked! How come? Damnation. They have all these books here and not one copy of any of my works. Oh, all right. Try hard. Well, yeah. Why would they have comics in the library they have those girl plus most fanfic is just a porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs i don't want amateurs drawing my pornography i want professionals drawing my pornography give me my professionally drawn 
pornographies, please. My professional pornography fanfics, please. You just don't get it. Not at all. I, I do, too, get it. I'm gonna get the spray bottle. I'm gonna get the spray bottle. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell nothing you do is worthwhile. Toko gotta get booted out of the skyscraper, y'all. Toko's problematic. Does she have a, I just noticed, does she have a sickle and hammer on her shoulder? Look I at it. I didn't see. <laughs> Look at it, let me go back. Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. Well, well. 2020 has proven that there's maybe some books, book series that might have to get judged by their author, J.K. Rowling. <laughs> No, now hear this! Appearances mean nothing at all! What you see before you is nothing more than the rind that contains the meaty pulp of my genius. Here we go! My creations are what determine my meaning and value. Look! <laughs> it's like in perspective and in like a little oh, wrinkle. It does kind of look like that. You're so full of it. Mm hmm. I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak attacks like yours will drop my HP? I think Kyoko is in the background just being like, everyone shut the fuck up, this is a library. Come yeah, on. they're two of the not good nerds, and Kyoko's the good nerd. Yeah. And then we got this nerd. And then we got rich boy nerd. Hmm. Affluent. But still. Boy. This library is most interesting. Is it? Huh? What's interesting about it? Stop talking. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. Rich snot. You, you must be pretty happy to have all these books around, huh, Toko? <laughs> Not particularly. Nothing's really caught my attention so far. I was so excited mm -hmm. for that first line because it didn't have any stuttering. <laughs> and I was like, yes, straight in. Indeed, there's a plethora of books, it's true, but the content seems lacking. Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult section? Hmm? Comic books? Young adult? That stuff's a waste of time. Hmm. I've seen what you write, Miss Fukawa. Hmm. Talented hmm. as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. What the heck? My stories are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to that garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Someone should just burn it all. <laughs> oh, the lady doth protest too much, methinks. <laughs> that whole phrase has to be banned yeah. forever. No one is allowed to say the lady doth protest too much. And methinks is definitely out me as a whole. That one's gone. Those are gone. I bet you're secretly into boy on boy action. I mean, at least it'd give her one redeeming character trait if she was. <laughs> Yeah. Boy on boy. I, I don't care if it's an anime or comics or fan fiction or whatever. It's all yeah. filth. Throw away culture that'll be trashed and forgotten in half a decade. Yeah. Ugh, just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm g gonna throw up. <laughs> you've insulted me and you've insulted my honor. These two are really starting to freak me out. Never seen anything like it. I only read J James Joyce's love letters to his wife. <laughs> That's literature. Pure love. That is pure love right there. It looks like a laptop. What? You think I can go to cool math games on this thing? The laptop looks pretty old and it's all covered in dust. So it's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier and nothing happened. Loan. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. And show these two nerds what real porn's like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> if it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. Chamera. I knew that wasn't going to be anything worthwhile. I got to look at all of this, this books and this shelves. The shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. Looks like this library has been neglected for a pretty long time. Even though it's a prestigious high school, they've been pretty careless about keeping it nice. Hey! Nice! Gotta look at this desk. There's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk. 
It looks like this library has been neglected for a pretty long time. Kids these days not using the libraries. As nice as the school itself is, whoever's in charge of upkeep has been pretty lazy. Strange. Who do you think's in charge of upkeep? It's just Monokuma that's here. The shelf is packed high with books, but looking at it, it's all pretty dusty. What do you think? No, I was gonna say something. Shelf's packed high with books, Please. but all things incredibly dusty. Nice. Oh, I haven't had a coin though. Just goes to show you, you never know. Oh. What's behind this door? I thought it was the door we entered with. It's some kind of archive. All I saw in there were stacks of old books and files. Who's meowing? It's Olive. What do you want? Oh, oh she, she probably wants her, she food. wants her food. Give, go give her the food. I can't imagine what business you would have in there. That's true, I don't really have any reason to check it out. Well, I just want to check it out because I'm a gamer. There's probably clues. Why should I trust this guy as to what's back there? I guess it is time to run ads, huh? Okay, we're gonna run three minutes of ads while we're giving all of the food. Starting right now, and we'll be back in just a little bit. Here we go. Ads are running. Ads are running. Julie's bringing a cat. I heard her say it. Olive does has become louder and more screamy lately. It's Miss Olive. It's Miss Olive. Look at that cat. Look at this good cat. Take look a look at, at that snoot. Cat. Now get her out of here. This ain't the Olive show. I, uh, she sprinted into the kitchen waited for the food and then I got the food out and she looked at it and walked away. Well, she doesn't want that food. She wants the good shit. Only tuna. Olive only wants to eat tuna. That's it. We had to give her tuna a bit while she was going through the FIP stop. And, uh, because it was the only thing she would eat at all. And now she knows the taste. She remembers the taste of tuna, and that's all she wants. Where's Joy? Joy has had a little bit of a cold, so she's been less less around. But she is eating right now, Julia has informed me. Is it kind of hot in here? Do you want to open this window by us? I'm roasting and toasting. Thank you, as always, mods, for posting the uh, content warning sheet. If you're new to the stream, I highly recommend you check it out for this game, just in case anything in here is gonna... Because there's a lot of freaky stuff. Gonna make you go... No, that's it's bad. A, it's a lot of... It's a lot of... Um... Uh-oh. A lot of it will definitely uh -oh, make you no. go, oh, no, that's bad. But is that gonna actually, you know, affect you emotionally? Yeah. If so, this might not be the one for you. How's the weather in New York? It's good. Oh my god. It's been like 50, 60s. It keeps springing up and landing and then batting around and around like that. Olive going crazy. Olive's running wild. USA Yammers, please vote. That is a good recommendation, Wild Funimal. Early voting is all is all happening. Get out there, do your thing. Cast your vote. It's still 80s in Florida. I feel like it's always 80s in Florida. It gets to like 79 in Florida and everyone's like, brr. Better put on my hoodie. Is that Joy? It's a Joy cat. She's here. Bye, Joy. Now you've seen both cats, and we can move on. Olive's walking back in. Hey, Ads are done. Let's get back into it. We have more to explore. Oh, there might be more to look at in here. Are we sure about that? What's the letter that's in front of? Oh, that's pretty obvious, and I didn't see it. 
Well, because it looks like a task from Taskmaster. It does. I saw it. <laughs> the shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. What? What's this? A letter from Sayaka. Hope's Peak Academy. Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? Yeah, why'd you wait for us? Yo, but why do you do anything? We shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Right? We're in a bit of a situation here, Makoto. What we shouldn't do is leave this area without finding out what's inside. Okay. I broke the seal on the dusty envelope. But there's a crime, Kyoko! <laughs> it's a federal crime! Kyoko! And pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there. From the Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope Speak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope Speak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. Our decision to board up all the windows with steel has made our school less appealing. <laughs> well, people don't like that, it turns out. The Gatling guns unnerve people. That being said, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? <laughs> the contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem... It would seem Hope's Peak Academy, or Hope's Peak, whatever, I'm keeping out the academy part, had stopped functioning as a school, so it is just Hope's Peak. And judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. Also, uh, Bloody Raven, uh, welcome to your first stream. You might want to look at the, at the, uh, content warning doc that the mods have and we'll probably put in soon after I say this. Uh, Cause this is a, this you've entered on a doozy. Yeah, and maybe you've been watching the other ones. I don't know, like on pods. Oh, true. But welcome anyways. Yeah, welcome. Read this line, please. If I, I was getting ready. Now, hurry. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago? Most likely. The mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. Yeah, I remember. But I didn't get that sense at all. It looked like a regular functioning building to me. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked up stuff online about the school and never saw anything about this. So in other words... That must have all been part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Hm. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However, if it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. Hmm. That would be a nice, simple solution, it's true. But then, what about this other part? The decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control That's just necessary. CEO mumbo-jumbo yeah. before we fucked up. Yeah. yeah. And we don't want to say it's our fault. What did they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? Because I would consider this a serious issue by most standards. Yeah. No, if, if the two events are in fact connected, covering the connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although, I can't really say any more until we find more details. Hmm. So in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. If we can figure out why they would want to imprison us all here, will that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea what's on the second floor. Do we think the Mastermind is one of us? Could be. It's me. You did this? I did this. 
but I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I'd better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. Hi, everybody. Listen to me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how'd it go? Did anyone discover any interesting new anything? Yes, indeed. There's a library. Okay. And a pool. A freaking pool. And locker rooms filled with exercise equipment. Well, there was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. I see. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. Woohoo! And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much, it's insane! God. So go ahead and stuff yourself to the kills whenever you feel like. Ha ha ha! Are you okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, then what about a fucking way out of here? You find anything like that? Oh, well, um... Why? There wasn't anything in the what? warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here? Nothing? Uh, unfortunately, no, not that I saw. Hey, come on. You fucking people. What? Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now? Or a warehouse, or whatever the fuck? We're still around. trapped in this place, so th this place of shit, place of shit school. This place of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. Bobby. <laughs> now, now, there is no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is key, yes. For now, we must find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of... Whatever you say, you fucking loon. You piece of piss. For now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you should discover something. So then. Your reading skills today are on par with my own. Thank you. <laughs> so are we done for today? Well, yeah, I guess so. The air seemed to suddenly grow heavy again. Was this the mastermind's plan? To give us hope just to turn around and betray that hope? What, Biagria? Say something. Ding dong, ding bong. Someone said that DDBB autocorrected to Debbie on their phone, and that's all I can think of now. <laughs> Debbie. This is a school announcement. He's, he's reading it. I just, I just want to say it because it was fun. He's reading it. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. Debbie, and entry at that Debbie. Point is strictly prohibited. Debbie, okay, Debbie. Then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let Debra! Debra! We all promised not to leave our rooms during nighttime. There's not much else to do. I guess we'll just go to bed. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. <laughs> all right. It's uh, Makoto's piss time. Yeah. <laughs> He's sleeping. Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I, I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. And my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay. Not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy paste. I don't have any imagination. I am perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? Yeah. I don't know what you're getting at, though. Ding dong, bing bong, Debbie. Wake up. Ding dong, bing bong. Good morning, okay, morning. everyone. Get it's at all hours of the day. At all hours of the day. time is officially over. Time to rise and shine. is a suburban wine mom. Get ready to yeah. greet another beautiful day. Oh, if this were an episode right. of Criminal Minds, he would be a suburban wine mom. I wanted wine to mom. let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated. Wow. New regulations have been added, so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before. The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. Stay regulated. Eat. <laughs> 
He must be referring to yesterday. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. But right now, I need to hurry like? up and head to breakfast. What's that yogurt I like that regulates? Diarrhea brand yogurt. <laughs> What's it called? Activia. Activia. Stay regulated. Eat Activia. Anyway, I like Activia yogurt. It's tasty. Gargoyle dining hall. I don't really like yogurt. Yeah. I feel like Activia is objectively the worst yogurt there is. What? Well, it tastes like artificial sweetener. Yeah. It's the only one I like, though. Hey, Makoto. It's like watery and tastes like artificial sweetener. Morning, Makoto. Good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo. Hey, you slow ass. Nope. Still waiting on Byakuya and Taka. Byaku is no surprise, but it's strange Taka's not here yet. <laughs> Knowing Taka, I imagine he is trying to get the king of tardiness up and out of bed. Hmm. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Soon enough. Soon, soon <laughs> I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. <laughs> get me patient. <laughs> get me patient. <laughs> Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem. Which is? I am thirsty. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> hey, Fumi, would you make me some tea? Huh? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Just be careful not to spill it in your eyes. Everyone's been making that mistake. Yeah, really. Well, well, why me? Let's see. Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh. Uh, okay. Um. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order, Hifumi skulked his way into the kitchen. Poor Hifumi. And a few minutes later. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Hifumi reappeared with tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> Finally. You could have made some for the rest of us, you know. Yeah, except you no shit on to think about this in a common sense. I emphatically way. decline. You're not my type at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all about the law of causality, basic instinct, act and react. Never mind. <laughs> well then, if you don't mind. A small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Oh, wait. She cocked her head to the side. There's a and, dead body in it. And threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. Wow. What? What the? Hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? I hate this kind of tea. Um, um I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Imagine we are at a coffee shop. Just any normal, everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. They then ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now further imagine that I replied, ah, yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <sighs> but this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. All right, snobby, snobby bae. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet, that way... Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries in ketchup. Mere condiments. I prefer my fries to be made in ketchup. <laughs> what are you talking about? Made by ketchup. <laughs> Deep Whenever fried in ketchup. <laughs> Slathered in ketchup. I like it like like pickles in a jar, but <laughs> fries in a ketchup bottle. I pick it up with my hands. Whenever looking at a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. <laughs> and I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Um, I went to all that trouble to make you that tea and you wanted me to go even further. <sighs> yes, I realize that can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, 
breakfast is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but... <laughs> Why even bother creating a menu if you are not going to offer the highest level of quality? He didn't create a menu. You just told him to make tea. Well, um, we don't actually have a menu. You little bitch. <laughs> I like that ring, though. That does not matter. Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine. What? Okay, your little piggy will bring it right out. Wow, all right. <laughs> I do so love coercion. They got a thing going on right now. I'm, I'm not. I don't want to be seen in public. I didn't sign up for this. Show. You do this in private. Don't do this in the public dining hall, please. You were like a totally different person just now. Yeah, shit. You really went psycho there. <laughs> I knew there was more to her when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. What? A <laughs> I feel like that line's really out of character for Makoto. Yeah, it feels like a line out of Greece. <laughs> Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. The dining hall doors flew open and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But... Bad news, everyone. There's a mystery afoot. Huh? Huh? What happened? It would seem Byakuya refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I think maybe... I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that? He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Listen to me! Ah, I was just about to suggest the same thing. What's your problem? Stop trying to one-up everyone. Um... I can't believe how much Toko sucks. I thought there would be like one redeeming thing about Toko, but she just full-on sucks. Yeah, she sucks really bad. Okay, then I'll check his room one more time. In the pool. I'm just gonna keep on hammering that button until I get a response. Well then. Very well. Then the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Um, yeah, before it's, you know, too late. Anyway, we just have to do our best to find Byakuya. Byak uh, someone asked who Byakuya was. Byakuya is a uh, is rich boy. Yeah. With glasses. So where might Byakuya have gone? Maybe he went to go check out the second floor of the school again. I've been hinted at. What do you have to say for yourself? Celeste, aren't you going to help look for Byakuya? I have not had my tea yet. Huh? Don't talk to me until I've had my tea. <laughs> until my thirst is satisfied, I have no urge to do anything. That's the new don't talk to me until I've had my coffee. God. You say, until my thirst is satisfied, I have no urge to do anything. That's also the line of a serial killer. Until my thirst is satisfied. <laughs> yeah. If you are in a hurry, feel free to motivate you for me to move faster. Oh, okay. But aren't you being kind of selfish? All right, bye. Yeah. Where's Bakugan Battle Brawlers? Celeste is one of those girls that very particular people who very particularly gets. Why is it still sealed off from this end? I don't know, but those stairs are made out of nori. They are made out of nori. Let's talk to these. Let's talk to these chicks. <laughs> hey Hina, any luck? No, it's no use. I keep banging on his door, but nothing. Come on already. Open up. I don't think he's in there. Or Careful. He you're going to bust the door down hitting it that hard. <laughs> you should. Relax. This is nothing compared to what Sakura could do. Ah. Sakura's really awesome, you know? If she wanted to, she could tear this door to shreds. I, I see. Wow. Yeah. Aoyak Sakura. Well, she Hell is yeah. the ultimate martial artist. She might actually be able to do it. Mm. I've been knocking so long. I think I can say for sure he's not here. I think you're right. Okay, I'm gonna go look around for him. Yeah. Okay, good luck. Don't, don't make me, <laughs> don't make me read anything she has to say. I'm not gonna talk to you, Toko. Not until we have like reason to. Yeah, I'm not to. gonna just like talk to you for fun. Cause it's not fun to do. Yeah. 
Where's the dang old second floor? Gotta go over there to the staircase. Go find Bakugo. Go find Bakugo. Go find Bakugo, my hero academia. <laughs> go find Bakugo, go Power Rangers. It's Kyoko. She's hey. 20 feet tall. So you thought to come here too. Huh? So, if you think about what Byakuya was so interested in yesterday. Like let, not letting me go in the archive? I remember that. Oh, hello. My goodness. You can probably guess where he is now, right? Huh? What was it Byakuya was interested in again? Babes! Was it Bibs? Was it Bibs? Olive's here. No, he was like, you can't go in the archives because you wouldn't even care about what's in there. Trust me. And for some reason, Makoto was like, oh, I totally believe you. We can't Olive? see because of our cat. <laughs> Hello. She's so soft. World's softest cat. All right, come here. Come here. No, nope, she's All going right. down. You jerk. She goes her own way. She can go. When I opened the door of the library and looked inside, I cried out in sudden surprise. Blackula? <laughs> Of all the things I'd imagined, this is most definitely, this is wasn't definitely oh, most alive, wasn't, huh? this wasn't most one of them definitely. Hey, uh, what are you doing? I forget oh, I that's forgot, Makoto's voice. Dingus voice. Hey, hey. I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? All right. I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no. What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around you here? You've all night to read this blue book. Wow, you didn't even read that line. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. Yo! Byakuya! So this is where you've been hiding! <laughs> you! The heck are you doing here, man? We were very concerned. Hmm. Well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. Well, what, what were you reading? A mystery novel. Well. Wait, so are you going to use what you're learning in there to betray us? This is such a teen <laughs> move to pull. Oh, people are disappearing and getting murdered? Well, if I disappeared... Would anyone even care? <laughs> Don't be stupid. Yeah. It's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, what? Naturally. If I decide to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> it's not often you get to take part in such a high-stakes, high-tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. <laughs> his words sent a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. Damn you! What the fuck do you mean, game? That's fucked up! <laughs> but it is a game. It's a game of life or death, which can have only one winner. That's all there is to it. He is right. It's a zero-sum game. Huh? Are you okay with this? It's a part of game theory, a mathematical model. But that's just a theory. A game theory. Oh my god. In game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero-sum game. But that's just a theory. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. You mean like a kind of elimination match? Actually. Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. Yeah, I get it. I'm explaining winning and losing. <laughs> I get it. In, in soccer, in order to win, you must have more points than the other team. 
This also applies to the school life we have been subjected to here. In this case, our limited resource is that only one of us can successfully become the Blackened. So in other words... So this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. Th that can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> this is why adaptation is so crucial. For those who want to escape were to disappear, if, if those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. <laughs> he smiled again as he spoke, clearly as you can tell by the art. The smile was filled with evil intent. It almost like it wasn't a smile at all, and this instead like, a grimace. This is a draw tactics mood. Yeah. It twisted his face into something not human. It sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose, am I right? Naturally. Of course. I'm rich. I've never <laughs> lost one thing in my life. My papa pays them off. You do not speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect from the Togami heir apparent. Uh, it's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second. You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply isn't possible. I'm already you son of a dead. Bitch. Who the fuck do you think you are? You know, I still just can't believe it. What? Believe what? <laughs> that an uneducated, brain dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. Piece of shit! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Don't make me repeat that. Like I said, I won't die. Is this some big teen energy? Yeah, really. You keep saying that, but... Do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. Stupid. He is the ultimate affluent pro progeny, after all. A boy raised to succeed from the day he was born, through money, through his parents' hard work. <laughs> He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life and death situation. <laughs> is that not so, Fiakia? <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? It is because I am the same of you as, as you. Games are meant to be won. That's enough. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of oh yours. God, kill oh. Fiakia. Well, well, I do apologize. Hm. Anyway, let me just say this to all of you. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give it their best, where's the fun for me? N no. That, that's a terrible <laughs> way to look at it. I liked her voice line there. N no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. No. What? Hmm. Because this isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know? To kill your own friends is... is... That's horrific. It's horrific! Friends? Who decided that? So no one told you life was gonna be this way? <laughs> your job's a joke? You're broke? Your love life's DOA? <laughs> it's like huh? I'm always stuck in second gear! We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. But, 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 you know. What? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Sesame Street taught me that everyone is my friend. Uh, um. Come on. Yes, if you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Oh, she got milk in her eyes, too. Just a little bit, I'm though. I'm sorry. When the Stop milk hits your around. eyes. <laughs> hey, shithead! You get off on bullying people that can't fight back? You want to try that on me? <laughs> so you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Piece of shit! Fuck you! I'm Rachel! Is that all you can say? It's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. Actually, if I'm being honest, I'm probably Phoebe. <laughs> That's it, you're fucking dead, Chandler. Just a second. H hold on, just calm down. Piece of shit. I am calm. Uh, how is this calm? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is 
Well, frankly, it's a waste of time, and I hate wasting my time. Waste of time? Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. And I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper just yet. That's not what happened at the Last Supper. No poison. There was no poison at the Last Supper. Dude, shit. Quit talking like you're in a fucking movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that ultimately you are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye, I'm a ghost. <laughs> Come here. Without a second glance back, Byakuya left. There wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But you cannot take my hair ties, I need these. Was he serious about all that? <laughs> he was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me. Well, fuck him then. Sorry, Alda. Maybe. But what he said, he might not necessarily be wrong. Oh my god, Toko's stutter is bad for my own stutter and You can just ignore the stutter if you want to. I mean, you can say for sure someone won't poison our food. Hey, come on, you too, Toko? Anyway. Well, it's not like anyone would even care if I was gone, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, I bet you all want me gone. You all think I'm disgusting. Oh my well, I do. God, Toko. Honestly, at this point. Honestly, you can go. You're a little disgusting. But you know what? You can get better. Nah, she can go. None of us think that. Makoto, I do. don't lie. <laughs> I'm telling you. You just think you don't think that. What the fuck? Don't Toko. tell me what I think I think, do or don't think. What I think don't I think. don't think. She needs therapy so bad. I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just totally out there. Thank you. You think I did, don't know, but I do. You, you want me gone. You're really shitty to everyone all the time. Yeah, it's because you put yourself in that situation. And I'm sure the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? Wait, none of us would want you gone if you were nicer. Uh, hey, Toko, wait. Uh, Stop, no, no she's gone. come back. No. <laughs> just let her go. When she gets going like that, there is nothing you can say to bring her back. Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. And Everyone headed back breakfast. to their rooms. Jeez, I'm tired already after all that Toko shit. <laughs> but I don't have time to take even one day off. I need to get myself going. Free time! Oh, oh, we can hang out with someone. Let's go to the freaking bear machine and get some gachapons. We can't hang out with Kyoko. She's the only character that matters at this point. I gotta go get some gachapons. And we already hung out with Sakura, so. I gotta go get some gachapons from the store. Gotcha. gotcha. I have so many bear coins. Gachapons. Get your pump. Where's, where's the gachis? Here they are. I gotta go to the yen store. Spend my kuma coins. Beauty. Let's give it a shot. You ready to roll the dice? Yay. They said one at a time, right? Yeah, one one coin at a time. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I guess if I put in more, it just lowers the chance of repeat. But right now, the chance is pretty low, so... What do we got? Got an item. It's a bong. What the fuck was that? I don't know what that was. Again. Um. Again. Salt spike. That's a Coca Cola. That's a soda pop. Again. That's pants. That's like pantaloons. That's pantaloons. Lucky. Lucky! Oh, hi, sweetie. I got a camera. Didn't we have a disposable camera? I don't know. There's a chance to repeat, so. Oh, I already got that. I got that one again. Again. She has settled in my lap. Oh, look at that. That was good. That was a good thing. Oh, 
I got a magazine called Cat Dog. Hell yeah. Best magazine there is. Is that curry? Curry? Curry cubes? It's like curry. Curry cubes. Is that curry cubes? Cat, Cat dog. dog! Ew. Hairball! Is that hair? <laughs> Whose hair is that? Who's interested in the hairball? I think it was actually like soba noodles or something. Huh. That looks like a chocolate bar maybe. Possessed oh, doll. The little witch. Academia. That's a pen. All right, that's enough for now. Go hang out with someone. Let me leave. Let me. Isn't it like E? It's R for escape. <laughs> or escape. For escape. Who should I hang out with? The only person that matters, Kyoko. Do I have anything Kyoko would like? I can look up that guide. That was spoiler free before everyone starts saying spoilies. Presents. Yeah, we should see. Um... I'll pull up the thing. I have to stop putting all of Everyone in chat is saying Chihiro. I think it's because they just like Chihiro. I don't want to visit Chihiro. Chihiro doesn't ever do anything. Thinking around for gift guide. Water flute. What the heck is a water flute? It's the flute you play in the water. Hmm, of course, of course. Okay, I pulled up the spoiler free guide. A jewel treasured by an ancient super race. It actually is a bong. Is it really? So the things that Kyoka likes is Luwak coffee or civet coffee, blueberry perfume, rose in vitro, cherry blossom bouquet, or bujobo dolls. I don't think I have any of that. Oh, right. You get skills from hanging out with them. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. All right, what does Chihiro like? Chihiro likes blueberry perfume, Kirlian camera. Oh, I have the camera. Endless dandelion. I've Super got the Super strategy cam. encyclopedia. I've got the Kirlian camera. Okay, we'll go talk to Ooh. Chihiro. Maybe she'll win me over. I don't know where she is though. I gotta find her. Map. Where's Chihiro? If you was, whoops. If you was Chihiro, where would you be? Not there. Oh, there, there she is. Hope's Peak, second floor. Cool beans. There's Chihiro. Hello. I didn't realize you were there. Hmm, should I try to cheer up Chihiro? Do I give her the gift before? Or after? How do I give the gift? <laughs> Doesn't it come up as an option? Like towards the end or something? I don't remember. Do I hang out first, then give the gift? I'm sure chat will tell me. After, okay. We'll spend some time with Chihiro. You're right. Yeah, I could use a little change of scenery. Um, do you mind keeping me company for a while? I spent a nice relaxing time with Chihiro. Chihiro, Chihiro. Chihiro and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Chihiro a present? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'm gonna give her that camera. My camera. Huh? Huh? A present? <laughs> Yay! 
Hey, thank you so much. Where the fuck did you get a camera in this lockdown school? <laughs> Seeing Shihiro so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. I thought we were gonna like get into it, like have like a combo, but we no. didn't. Maybe we're not close enough yet. There's still plenty of time left. I can't just sit around here. I should head oh out. Oh my god, hang out with someone else. Hang out with Kyoko. I guess we don't have a present for her. I don't have a present for Kyoko. Olive, you are such a little permission. Who should I hang out with? Um, I need to know who I have what? presents for. Alright. I have the gift guide. That's not the gift guide. Here's the gift guide. Um... I'd love to hang out with Mondo or Sakura. Okay, let's see Mondo. What's Mondo like? Mondo, what you into, dog? Okay, Mondo. Turbo Cup Ramen or Sonic Cup o Noodle. Roller Slippers. Brand new Sarashi. Super Chinchilla Upholstery. What? Quality Chinchilla Cover. I don't have any of that. Uh, who's the other one? Sakura. Didn't we hang out with Sakura already? Oh, apparently, Aoi likes the flotation donut. We yes. hang out with Aoi. Aoi likes the flotation ring. Let's hang out with Aoi. She also likes the kitty hairpin. And we have both of those things. Where's Aoi? Aoi! I bet she's at the freaking pool. Where's Biakria? I don't want to hang out with him. Where the heck? Where's Owie? Did I pass her? She's swimming. Maybe. She's swimming. Owie doesn't exist. Well, that's the... Where the hell is Owie? Check kitchen? I thought I checked everywhere. Did I not check kitchen? Kyoko's yeah, I did. Room. Oh, she's in the dining hall. Of course, with Sakura. Hall. Oh, yeah, with her girl. Let's go! <laughs> you can teleport, can't you? I did. Oh, did you? You can only teleport to certain spots, yeah. not everywhere. Owie! The key is not the will to win. Everyone has that. It's the will to prepare to win that's important. Yeah! That's a quote from a famous basketball coach, Bobby Knight. Cool. Okay. So it's like, we have to work hard, you know? You're so right. Let's spend some time with Hina. I was thinking of going to the cool... <laughs> the cool pool for a quick dip. For a cool dip. A cool ranch dip. You should come with me. I'm the back. I went for a swim with Hina. That's weird. Is that weird? I don't know. With the tone of this game, it felt weird. But not with Hina. She just loves to swim. That's true. Also, she and Sokka are, you know, an item, so. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hina a present? Yes, definitely. Floaty. How would you like a flotation ring that I, I got? I should have given this to you before we went in the pool. Flotation donut, give. What? I could keep this, right? Right? <sighs> Yay, ultra stoked. Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Oh man, oh man. What's up? Okay. I'm getting totally fired up. What? How come? <laughs> How come doesn't matter. Now that I'm revved up, I need to get it out. Let's race. I I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance anyway. That's right. Really? Why well, don't mind running solo? I'm just freestyling these sentences sometimes. Whatever. I got the point across. Yeah. Well, hold on. You always seem so excited, Hina. What's your deal? Huh? Hey, are you making fun of me? No, I'm just impressed. Hmm, really? It's a good face. Yeah, it is. I used to, that's you. I used to know this one guy. He was always like, Hina, you're like a super spaz. Super spaz? Yeah. Yeah. 
like, he'd see me wearing shorts in winter and he'd say stuff like that. Oh, are you a shorts in winter person, Hina? I'm not even affected by the cold. <laughs> I don't even notice. I also wear flip flops in the snow. <laughs> but if you lose to the cold like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. Are you my father? Wow, you did stuff like that and didn't get sick? You got it all wrong. Getting sick is for the week. If you're really dedicated, winter means even lighter clothes. That's dumb as shit. I'm going to be real with you. You're going to get pneumonia, girl? It's all part of your training. If you're training to be very sick, training, huh? So, like, are you the type that gets sick easy? Actually, yeah. See, you're soft. You need more training. Okay. Okay, I've got the perfect remedy to keep someone like you fit as a fiddle. Huh? What kind of remedy? Yeah. Actually, I do this myself every morning. Hard drugs. <laughs> you just strip down to your waist, then take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. What? What are you talking about? What are you about? talking about? I call it... I call it, uh... Huh? What do I call it again? A way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin. Let's take a shot at this. I mean, probably towel treatment, right? What else would it be called? Is it something like towel treatment? You got it. Oh my god, yeah, that's it. Of course, towel treatment. I really wanted it to be bamboo beat down. I love going out in my apartment balcony, stripping down the lids of my skin. What are you talking about? She's an exhibitionist. God, it feels so amazing. I never let a morning pass without getting in a good rough... <laughs> you can't say yeah. things like this. You can't say these things. Wait, so you went out on your balcony and stripped down? And you were okay with that? <laughs> you should give it a try. If you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. What now? How's that supposed to make me healthier? Everyone in the school is an extra layer of dumbass. I'd hate to see you catch a cold or something. Hina's report card has been updated. F. <laughs> My maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Look at me go. After being introduced to a unique sickness prevention method, I went back to my room. Ding dong, bing bong. Hey, everybody, it's bedtime. Everybody go to sleep. <clears throat> this is a school Same stuff he always that, says. Soon the door yeah, it's nighttime. Open. Everything's locked. Got it. Nothing of what she's... Like, this game sometimes feels like a fever dream. <laughs> Another day gone. But even though today is over, this game definitely isn't. How long is this going to keep going? I just poked Olive's pink bean and she didn't even flinch. She's probably used to it by now. <laughs> yeah. All the stress and anxiety kept me from falling asleep until late in the night. Debbie! Debbie! Monokuma Theater. Whenever I spot a cute girl, I have a tendency to stare. You shouldn't do you that. You shouldn't do that. I can't help it. I just gaze with intensity. You can't oh, help you're it. that creepy. You can't huh? help it. Every other day, I rode my bike to the train station. Don't finish the sentence, Monokuma. I was in the bathroom, just looking at myself in the mirror. I don't understand. <laughs> Are you the cute girl? Is this a self-love thing? Appreciate yourself. Appreciate yourself. Be the cute Good girl morning, of your own everyone. It is now life. Seven and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Some part of us Get all is ready a cute to greet girl. another beautiful day. Well, I guess I better head to the dining hall for anything else. What you doing? Just this game. This game sometimes. <laughs> this it's is just wild. Probably a good stopping point. Actually, it's. We no, still have keep like going. Nine minutes, keep huh? going. Keep going. Oh, it's just because I'm so hot. It's yeah, so hot it's really warm. I'm dying. <sighs> I just sometimes <sighs> the things Monokuma forces me to to say in voice is the stuff I don't want to say. <laughs> Or 
morning meetup. This is the face of despair. I went to the breakfast meeting, same as always, but... Is this everyone? It feels a little small. Biakuya and Toko had stormed off yesterday and it wasn't too surprising they hadn't come today. Even the table looks bigger somehow. I assume that is because three people are dead and two are abstaining. Yeah, with five people missing, I guess it would feel kind of empty. Hmm. Still, I know Biakuya's whatever, but shouldn't we check on Toko? For serious. I vote no, she's super annoying. How could you be so cold? You are like a piece of rock candy. Rock candy's not cold. It's also a weird you hear me? When I think cold, I'm not thinking rock candy. What? No, rock candy isn't cold. It's sweet. Ugh, shit. Anyway, Piaku is the real problem. If we don't keep an eye on him, he might really kill someone. You can see it in his eyes. <gasps> we got no choice. Get some rope. We're gonna have to keep him bound and gagged. I think that's going a little overboard. Count on it. He's right. In this situation, there's nothing scarier than when an ally turns loose cannon. It's just like when we were kids and someone would go crazy at sports day or whatever. What? What the fuck are you talking about? You're gonna use the rope to do tug of war or something? Idiot! It can't be. I'm not an idiot. Yo. You're an idiot. D damn Who you. are you calling stupid? Huh? What's wrong, Chihiro? You don't look so great. Oh. Going through a little self-loathing. I feel you. Huh? Self-loathing? What's that? <laughs> I've never self-loathed in my life. Well, after what Biafia said to me yesterday, I just got so nervous I locked up. Couldn't say anything. Mondo ended up having to help me out, and even he said I was someone who can't fight back. Oh, I, I hate how weak I am. Oh. Ah, uh, I see. So Mondo made you depressed. No, incorrect. Wrong. What? 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 How's it my fault? Hey, come on. I wasn't trying to be mean. Besides, girls are just naturally weak anyway, right? Uh. Sakura's right here. I'm gonna break you in two. Sakura's three times your size. Uh, are you crying? It's because you were screaming like lunatic. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Don't cry. It's my fault, okay? I won't yell at you anymore. Hmm. Really? Not sure I can believe that. Huh? J just shut up. What? I got it. I'll make what? you a promise as a man. Oh, God. Huh? A promise as a man? Yeah, that's right. Maybe I mentioned this before, but ever since I was a kid, there was one thing my brother told me over and over again. He said that no matter what, a real man always keeps his promises. That's what he left me. Then he sealed it with left a pinky you? promise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My brother's dead. Oh. Oh, I see. That's true. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. Don't want to make all you guys cry. Yo. Anyway, so you can trust me when I make that promise. So you don't got to cry anymore. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mondo. Sh sure. But... But... I still don't like how I am right now. I have to get stronger. I'm so weak, anything can make me cry. It's not good. Still, don't stress out too much about having to get stronger. Um, no, I want to get stronger. Maybe I should start working out. <laughs> In that case, I would be I'm happy here. to help you out anytime. <laughs> but, but then Miss Fujisaki would get smashed into a billion pieces. Just a second. Shut up, you. <laughs> you know? Oh, finally cracked his smile, huh? I see. <laughs> Tell us it's okay to break a promise. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Everyone, thank you. Looks like Chihiro's gotten some life back. Yeah, man, if we keep helping each other out like this... I'm sure nothing will go wrong. We're bound to get out of this crappy place sooner or later. I mean, someday, I'm sure. But where's Sayaka? <laughs> Still, our biggest concern right now is the other two who never showed up to breakfast. What can I do to try and understand those two better? <laughs> uh, 
Beaming Badger said, Owie, Sakura only smashes me. <laughs> okay, so what should I do today? All right, this is probably a good time to stop. Yeah. Before we do the free time. Uh, so this is the end of the stream for now. Yes. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, maybe we should do a raid. Jimmy? We could. Who's streaming? I don't know. I'm gonna look and see who's streaming. Yeah, look, look, see, look who see who's streaming. I'm gonna look who see who's streaming. Look who see who's streaming. God, am I gonna play the long drive again on Sunday? Probably. You you can if you want to. I didn't save that first run. Who to raid? Who to raid? Is Carolyn streaming? No, Carolyn's not streaming. Caravan Man? <laughs> We're gonna drop another raid on Caravan Man? Is he even live? Yeah, he is. live and he got a webcam caravan man got a webcam he got a webcam and he has a little bus icon around his webcam now oh way to go caravan man all right we can raid caravan man i need to see you when you raid caravan man caravan man's gonna be like who is secret sleepover society and why do they keep raiding me <laughs> is streaming like humble bundle i don't know if that's worth raiding i've already clicked it oh okay get ready to raid prepare yourselves for caravan man you better open that tab so fast i'm gonna open the tab so fast everybody get ready to raid caravan man anyway have a good week, everyone. Vote. Remember to wash your hands, wear your mask, socially distance, but also vote. We will see all of you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.